Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can complete the Stolen Throne quest here in Dragon's Dogma 2 from start to finish. Now, this is a little bit of a confusing quest because it doesn't really walk you through all of the different steps, and there are a few prerequisite quests you have to complete before you'll be able to actually get this one done. On top of that, you will also need to get a special set of clothes before you can get this quest completed as well, but I'll show you guys how you can get all of these different steps done very easily. So there will be three quests you need to complete before you'll be able to fully complete this quest. Those three quests are the Unsettling Encounter, the Cage Magistrate, and the Stolen Throne. Now I've made uh, guides on how to complete all of these quests, and they're just the quests that you'll receive from the captain before getting this Masquerade quest. Now just keep that in mind. If you're stuck on this, you will want to knock those out before going on to the Masquerade quest. Now the next step after completing those three prerequisites is to come on in to the masquerade room and what you'll want to do in there is actually go ahead and get the formal attire so you'll notice that in order to complete this quest you need to be wearing a special set of what they call formal clothes in order to be let into the masquerade now you're going to get the mask from the captain when he hands you over the quest but the rest of the outfit is going to be up to you so here's a quick look at the map of where i'm at you're just going to come up to where the masquerade actually starts and funny enough you can actually get the attire for the masquerade in the exact same place now just make sure that you're coming into this room during the day if you do not have the formal attire on because if not they won't let you in and you can actually I think get thrown in jail for attending the masquerade without the right clothes on. So just make sure it's daytime when you do this if you don't have the right outfit. Now from this point you'll come into the masquerade room and instead of going into the ballroom you're just going to come over to the right down this hallway. Now this is only if you don't have the formal attire yet and I'll show you guys how you'll know if you have formal attire or not in just a second but just come back here into this room open up this chest and what this is going to drop because I already opened it is going to drop you guys the uh, chest piece and the legs and you'll notice if you check the description in the top right corner it does say that it is formal attire on the uh, on the clothes so you can check clothes maybe you guys already have and see if any of it's formal and if not, just come on into the room and grab the chest and pop open that chest. Now, once you guys have opened the chest and got the gear, you will want to go ahead and put it on and come on into the ballroom. Now, the masquerade will only start during certain days and at nighttime. So if you come on in here and there's nobody else in here in a mask, what you'll want to do is actually step outside and uh, go ahead and rest up at one of the benches. So you'll notice these people are always going to be here, but you'll notice they don't have the masks on. And that is because it is daytime and the event has not started yet. So if we come just outside, you're going to have to leave the little castle grounds very quickly and go back into the main area. And you'll notice that there is a bench over here. So you can just go ahead and wait right here. You might have to wait two or three times, but you'll want to go ahead and go back into the masquerade once it is nighttime. Now, if you guys go and you wait inside the masquerade room and you do not like leave and then come back afterwards, sometimes it can glitch out because that's what I did the first time. I stayed in there for like 20 minutes just assuming the time would pass by and it did not work. I actually left and had to leave and come back in order for the trophy to pop up to tell me that I actually entered for whatever reason. So I do suggest just stepping outside and waiting at one of the benches, going back when it's uh, like right around nighttime or when it's already dark out. So you can notice as the later it gets, the more people that will show up but you want it to be completely dark out once this masquerade to get this masquerade fully started. So now I will very quickly head back when it is completely pitch black nighttime out so you guys can see the difference. Uh, so once it's completely dark, completely pitch black, that's when all of the other characters, the NPCs are going to show up. So as we can head back to the masquerade, it is nighttime now so we can get on to the next step. And you'll notice that there's actual like a real actual party going on in here now that it is nighttime. So now that you guys are in the actual masquerade, there's actually not much to do in the actual masquerade room. You can go around talking to everyone, but they're pretty much just going to ignore you. So there's not really much to do with them. Instead, what you're going to want to do is actually head into the back room. There's going to be a secret chamber you guys need to open. So in, after standing in the room for maybe like 20 seconds or so, we can just go ahead and leave. We're going to come into the back room so right next to where we got the formal clothes from. You'll notice there's actually a second room here. You can get some supplies out of it if you guys haven't looted it already. And then from there, what you'll want to do is actually go just next to this door. You'll notice that there's a little false wall here. And once you pop open that false wall, you'll get entrance to the hidden passage. And this will actually get you onto the next step of the quest. 
Now for the last step of the quest, you will need to go just outside of the masquerade room. You're going to actually have access to sort of like a secret club now. Uh, and there will be a few cutscenes. I'm not going to show them. I'm not going to spoil any of the cutscenes. You can just watch them for yourself. But the very last step of the quest will have you guys venturing over there. So it does not have to do with these doors back here. Instead, you're going to actually leave the masquerade room now. And you'll notice there's a new waypoint that has popped up. It's no longer that yellow uh, circle. So we just come back out here into the courtyard. Make sure to keep your attire on, like the mask and everything like that, until you're uh, done with the quest. And what you want to do is just come out here, and there will be like a little secret door on the left. It's not really that secret, but you may not have already been in there. And this is how you're going to be able to go on to the final stage of this quest. So hopefully this quick walkthrough helped you guys out. Now, if you guys need help with anything else in Dragon's Dogma 2, be sure to check out my channel because I've been uploading tons and tons of walkthroughs on how to get through most of the confusing quests. So hopefully this does help you guys out, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.